changes in certain labs have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, liver or kidney problems, high triglycerides, or had a vaccine or plan to. So Tick2 is a Tick2 inhibitor. Tick2 is part of the Jack family. It's not known if so Tick2 has the same risks as Jack inhibitors. Find what plaque psoriasis has been hiding. Ask your dermatologist about so Tick2 for clearer skin. So clearly you. So Tick2. Marcy Gonzalez, weekdays, KCAL News Mornings. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 14th. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. I'm Rudibay Shabazi. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. A dangerous wake-up call in Whittier, a major gas leak forcing dozens of people out of their homes. We're live at the scene as crews rush to get it fixed. This is the biggest failure that they could, that they could do to a victim. Stalked and threatened, the reignited fear for one woman after her convicted stalker was released early from prison without any notice. We are preparing to strike these companies in a way they've never seen before. We're getting it closer and closer to another major strike. We'll break down what automakers are now demanding and how the walkout could impact you. But first, we are keeping it cool this morning. Let's take a look at your next weather with Amber Lee. It is really nice to step outside this early in the morning and feel that little bit of crispness mm -hmm. in the air. Exactly. So just a light layer and then you can shut it off because it's still going to be, you know, rather warm in the afternoon, but our temperatures are still staying below average here in the Southland. So here's a quick look outside. We have the clouds overhead and we are tracking the sun this morning. The sun's coming up around 636 and then sunset times around 701. All right. So we do have a beach hazard statement to tell you about. So that means bigger than normal waves, especially for Orange County. This is going to last with us through tomorrow evening, especially for the northern part of Orange County. We could see waves up to three to five feet, sets up to six. So that means strong recurrence, elevated surf, camp out closer to a lifeguard if you plan on heading to the coast today. Beaches, though, we're looking at the clouds breaking probably by the time we head into the middle of the day. 73 will be the high. And then for LA and Orange County, temperatures about the same as yesterday, upper 70s again. Then we have mid 80s for the valley. Four. So it's been a little cool the last few days. I'll let you know whether or not this cooling trend is going to stick around as we head into the last few days of summer. Kalina. All right. Well, I've been talking about this problem on the five freeway in San Fernando, and now we have SkyCal overhead showing us this major backup. I mean, look at your screen here. This is the five freeway southbound. We are putting this right at San Fernando and um, it's just causing a major backup. I saw the fire department on scene. We have crews still working. This is a truck that caught on fire, apparently with an entire load of vegetables. So they not only have the car fire to clean up, but they also have a mess out on the roadway as well. So we do have some lanes blocked off and you can see the bumper to bumper delays here. I want to wait to see if you can give us a shot of the fire department that's on scene with some of the lanes blocked off. But either way, um, only two lanes are open. You can see it there and this is what the activity looks like. It looks like the big rig is just melted. Um, so it's going to take a little while. I'll keep watching it for you throughout the morning. Marcy, back to you. All right, Kalina, thank you. We are following some breaking news this morning. A Whittier neighborhood is evacuated all because of gas leaking into the air. Yeah, this is a major problem. Crews are on the scene right now working to shut it down. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live with details and quite a sight behind you, Rick. 
Yeah, Ruta Bay and Marcy, this is a gas main line that runs from the street into someone's home that ruptured. We can hear it, we can smell it, and behind us you see a large response here from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. The Highway Patrol is out here, as well as the L.A. County Fire Department. SoCal Gas just arrived, or they've been here, I should say, but they just showed up with some heavy equipment in the last few minutes because there is a lot of work they have to do to...